my website, SpinYourNails.com. My resume is on there as well. Uh, so you can see what my profession is. Um, I live here in Center City, Allentown. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping that uh, on November 3rd, this Tuesday, I can get support. We do need to bring some accountability back to our city government. That's really what the major complaint has been by all the people that go to the council meetings is that the people we have serving right now do not ask the questions that the people in the audience are asking and they just stay silent. So we need to bring back some accountability to our city government and start opening the books and looking at how our city is going to manage those last six years. So I hope you support. And I just do want to give a plug for these guys, uh, for Rich and Shane, since they're writing candidates. It's important that we get them to write their name in. Uh, so we have friends in Allentown, family in Allentown. Uh, you know, ask them to go out, vote, and to press write it. The city council is writing Shane Coleman to write his perspective. So thank you, and thank you for coming out tonight. Hello, Shane Fillin. I uh, have been a resident of uh, Allentown my entire life. Uh, I am a registered Republican in the city, but I have never voted uh, a party affiliation. I've always voted candidate. I vote for probably more Democrats than I have Republicans in my life. I, it's, uh, my parents always called me prescription pad and all professionals, all political party affiliations, everything. So, uh, I was an independent for many years, but I just picked a party to be associated with primarily so I wouldn't uh, be excluded from voting in the primaries. Um, I have uh, you know, uh, been a very community activist uh, in Allentown for many years. Uh, I've lived uh, in, in the heart of downtown since 1990. Uh, I uh, re just renovated a home that I bought in 2006 uh, on 8th Street, between Gordon and Liberty Street. Uh, I serve on the Port of Old Downtown Preservation Association, uh, and also am the current uh, chairman of the Historic Architectural Review Board for the City of Allentown. Uh, Old Downtown Preservation Association has been a very uh, key uh, component of downtown. And uh, I've been, uh, I was the chairman of their facade program, which we collectively over the last 35 years of Old Allentown have renovated uh, over 130 facades in the city. Um, so I feel very proud of downtown and the, the, you know, now that a lot of restaurants, including uh, this, this restaurant here tonight, uh, you know, Rich and his family were one of the, the, the uh, frontiers of investing their your money and putting their, you know, investing into this uh, business, and uh, and I'm glad to see it flourishing, and along with a lot of other recent businesses that are occurring. Um, and I encourage everyone to go and vote. Uh, I realize that writing candidates are difficult because it's uh, it's not just pulling a lever per se. You have to take some to write in your name. Uh, but this is a very important election. Uh, I think that if you're looking for someone for transparency and uh, honesty and integrity and, and certainly rich with his business sense of, of running his business in Bethlehem Brewers, uh, I come from a background. I worked for a commercial publisher uh, for 25 years in Montgomery County for 25 years uh, as their senior buyer. Uh, I have my CPM certification from Penn State University and I now work for uh, Communication Systems Incorporated as their procurement manager. Uh, and I'm very proud to work there and, and live in this city and uh, be part of it. So I really hope that um, this was short notice, uh, so that's why we're writing candidates. Uh, so I encourage everyone to vote uh, and, and vote for Steve Ramos and, and Rich Bagley and, and hopefully myself. And uh, I will promise to do the best job, possible job I can for this city. And uh, regardless of anything, uh, my four and foremost uh, interest is to do the right thing. Uh, and as my dad used to say in, in a year, that it, it's important to get the people on the right bus, but not only important as getting people on the right bus, but in the right seat in the right bu on, the, on the bus. That it's important to make sure that the right people are in the right positions, doing the right things for the right reasons. So please uh, consider this when you're uh, voting your ballot, passing your ballot on Tuesday. Thank you. Again, thank you everyone for coming out this evening. Uh, it's been an interesting several years for me. 
setting at City Council, but it's a, after all this time, kind of learn the ins and outs of what's happening at City Hall and what's going on in the ball that's been happening lately with the FBI in town. We're all kind of wondering what's next for Allentown. And we see all of this wonderful development happening in town, and we really want to see all of that continue and to see the city grow and flourish. So I encourage all of you to come out and uh, vote on Tuesday. I know it's an off election, and I voted for the president. I may not know who's in some other position. We actually have some other school board members here this evening. Uh, Charlie Theo and Mark Smith are both here. And uh, we had some other, we had a county commissioner here earlier this evening. CC Girl at the school board. Uh, so all these folks, it's important this election. It's, it's an off year, so a lot of people don't get out and vote. So this year, your vote really does count. So that one vote can make a big difference here in Allentown. So I encourage all of you to get out on uh, Tuesday, November 3rd. And again, if you have any questions, the candidates have been here for a while, feel free to come and uh, chat with us. Thank you.